This could be the best damn table saw that I've ever used. Requested by the subscribers of this channel and sent over by Acme Tools themselves. Link in the description below. Today we're going to slice it, we're going to dice it, we're going to put the Metabo 36 multi-bolt 10 inch brushless dual power table saw to the test. The only question I have is, what the f*** is that? Was that intro kind of boring for you? Sorry, we're about to rev it up. We got the Metabo 10 inch brushless dual power table saw. One of the best damn, if not the best damn table saw I have ever used in my life. Subscribe. Sent over by Acme Tools for you guys to take a look at. You wanted to see it on the live stream. That's what you said, so they brought it over. I'm telling you, dual power, you can run this off a of battery or, well, you got the adapter right here. You plug it in to the wall completely versatile i can't wait to show you guys some of this stuff but there's the battery the 36 volt multi-volt i'm telling you it's just so smart so awesome all right so what we're going to do is we're going to use and abuse this i'll show you how this thing operates if you want to use the adapter if you want to plug this in check it out squeak 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 you can basically plug it in don't have to worry about busting off your cord i really like that and if you want to take it out you just pop it out and throw your battery in so yes, it is dual power. It is completely portable if you want it to be. You don't have to be tied down by a cord. But we're gonna start running it with the cord first. I'll show you that, I'll let you hear it, and then we will pop the battery in and see if it holds up. Now you got the rack and pinion over here for your fence. I will tell you that it is not the smoothest that I've ever used, but it works very well nonetheless. Over here, you can crank up your blade if you want. You got your power on and off, so all you got to do is push that green button to turn it on and then just push down on your red button to shut it off. And then you got your bevel over here, but not only that, check this out. You can turn the knob and it will bevel it for you. You can really dial it in real nice, real simple like. I like that, man. Just to give you a closer look at that. Wow. Check that out. So smooth. And in case you just wanted to see the blade move, well, there you go. Super quick, super easy to bevel. And the depth adjustment, really simple to do as well. Nice and quick. Now on the side over here, that's where all your storage is. You got your guarding, you got your push stick, you got your kickback paws, all that fun stuff. Check this out over here. You got basically like an extender table, maybe you want to call it, but it extends out not that far, but far enough that it helps you if you're cutting plywood and you don't want it to fall off the side or, you know, even cutting strips of two by four or whatever you're cutting. That's pretty nice. It slides in real easy, goes in real easy. You can lock that down. Don't have to worry about it. Now on the side over here, you got your storage for the tools. You got this little thing over here, which I'll show you in a bit. This is really cool. Uh, and then the battery goes right there on the right hand side and check this out now what we're going to do is we're going to open this table up this thing basically from end to end once you adjust it you got four foot nice size table saw but just loosen that up over there flip that and now you can actually rest your material over there so again if you're cutting larger pieces of plywood and such there you go you just rest it on there it glides right across really well done now if you want to flip it back up over there, again, you can lock that down. Now, check that out where that little plastic piece was I was showing you. Well, this is part of the fence. You can actually clamp that on just like so, dial it in, and now you don't have to worry about getting too close with your fence to that blade. I mean, it's basically just plastic. So if you do accidentally get too close and you turn that on, maybe you're just trying to cut off an eighth of an inch or whatever. You're trying to get closer, cut smaller pieces. Again, you don't have to put that fence right next to that blade. Check out how close you can get with that. That is really nice. I've never seen that before. Again, let me move it in for you. Yeah, that's cool. You know, I like little things like this. Little things like this make me happy. Now, one of the things about that piece that did not make me happy was where you actually store it. I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't hold in there all that tight. I'm not saying it's gonna fall out on you, you know, but with the vibration, yeah, I would have liked to have seen it clamp in there just a little bit tighter, but it is what it is. It's a small thing, not a big deal. All right, so let's move this out. Let's extend it all the way, and you can adjust this fence for smaller cuts, larger cuts. I mean, look at this. I, I don't think the camera really does justice for this saw. I said that on the Instagram post. But you just have a lot of cut capacity on this table saw. 
The rip capacity on the right, you got 35. The rip capacity on the left, you got 22. 5,000 RPM on this monster. The table's made out of aluminum. But yeah, I really, really like how you can do that. You just flip that fence over and you can use it for a couple different things. So very smart on um, Metabo's part to do that. Now, even though it is an extremely portable saw, I will tell you there's a handle on the side. You might want to have two people carrying this. You're looking at around 70, 72 pounds for this table saw, and that's without a stand or anything. Now, I'm going to let you hear this thing turn on. Extremely soft start, but not only that, what about that electronic brake? Check this out. We're going to cut. I don't have any dust collection turned on yet. I do put it on later in the video, but I wanted you to hear this thing, but check it out, here's a different angle. This thing is freaking awesome. I'm telling you, man, power, 5,000 RPM on this. Wow, really, really nice. What we're going to do though, we're going to take out that electrical adapter and we're going to throw in the 36 volt battery here. Let's see what it does. I want to see if it still has the same power and I'll give you a closer look of the controls. All right, let's slice it and dice it again. This is three quarters of an inch plywood, by the way. Here we go. Seems to be just as powerful with the battery than with the cord. So that is a great thing to see. And FYI, the battery that we're using is a 4AH battery, but super clean cut. Let's do it again on some MDF. You know, I truly believe that, but nonetheless, it cut through no issues at all. All right, let's do some two by four. We'll do some pine. Now remember, this is all battery power. It is not plugged into an outlet. Let's raise this up a little bit. Here we go. You know, I really do like that edge guide, that plastic piece, the extension. It just it just works really cool. And uh, here's a different look, but I mean, it, it is smooth, man. I mean, this thing makes some smooth cuts. Let's uh, let's continue. Let's make a couple more cuts. You know, this saw sounds like it's loud because I have that microphone right up against it, but it is not loud at all. It's actually a lot lower pitch than I thought it would be, and I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's a really nice saw, man. All of those cuts, super smooth, super easy to bring through that blade, just ripping them down like nothing. And again, what's nice about this is, you know, Metabo got this right. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of corded tools. I like the battery power tools, but like others say, you know, you run out of batteries, you know, or you, you run out of juice and you got to go charge those, those things. You know, why can't these companies make it dual powered? And Metabo must have heard somebody say that or a bunch of people say that, and they did that. So now if you're on a job site where you have, and I'm telling you, this will hold up. We'll talk about you know, the build quality of this table saw towards the end of the video. But if you're on the site and you are looking for a saw that, you know, you have the, the power to plug into, it, it is it is a professional grade saw right here. But say you're in an area that does not have power. For example, my company had a shutdown this past weekend and there was no power at all. There were generators all over the damn place because they didn't have something like this. And if they had something like this, 
you know, they wouldn't have to worry about that. And not only that, you know, as a safety professional myself, I'm looking at it cord wise, you know, the number one violation out on the job site is cords. You know, OSHA is going to get you every single time in the States. It's just an easy picking. So that just eliminates not only the need for a power source, but it also helps eliminate those fines for faulty extension cords or running them through doors and windows and all that good stuff. And that is where I think Metabo got this correct was, you know, you have people that still like the cord, you have people that hate the cord, but now you have an option. You can plug that power adapter into this saw and run it any way you want. And you still got the four bars with all the cuts that we did. It is just a well thought out piece of equipment. Now, the one thing that stood out to me immediately was the build of this saw. You know, I'm used to these portable saws to be a little bit more flimsy, especially that plastic casing. That is not the case with this saw. It is a thick, heavier grade plastic and everything on it works very well. Super simple. I love that brake. And I love that you only got to push that little green button to turn it on. Everything works very, very well. And as far as it goes with the professional grade build, it is there. This is a heavy duty saw, which I was really impressed with. The rack and pinion system itself, it is not the smoothest that I've ever used. It is a little bit of a heavier table saw. One of the big questions will be, will it use a dado? Yes. Um, you know, the 8, 13, 16 inch, you know, allows for simple dado cuts. Um, riveting knife, you have that. You also have the miter gauge. has the positive saw, so 0, 15, 30, 45, and 60 degrees to the left and the right. It does come with the 10 inch 40 tooth carbide tip blade. You can bevel the range from zero degree up to 45 degree for cuts ranging from three eighths of an inch at zero degrees to two and a quarter inch at 45 degrees. And again, it is all brushless. Now the subscribers wanted to see this table saw. Acme Tools was nice enough to send this over. So check out their link below in the description. I'll leave that for you. Just a well, well done piece of equipment it is a heavy duty saw man you can take this thing out on the site and just use it and abuse it all day long it makes really nice cuts like i said a little bit heavier the rack and pinion system not as easy as others that i have used or not as smooth as others that i have used and you know as far as it goes with the little clip that holds that fence attachment it's not as snug or tight as i'd like it to be but oh well it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day, it's just an awesome saw, probably one of the best I've ever used. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you don't like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other new tools coming to the channel. Come say hi to us on the Instagram page, at Tool Review Zone. It'll be great to see you over there. And as always, we'll be back with more tool reviews soon.